Good morning, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. It is a brisk 11 degrees out, but it's gonna get pretty warm today. It should be in the low 30s, but that's not gonna be till this afternoon. So the first day of the sale is gonna be chilly, but tomorrow's gonna be super warm. It's gonna be like 45 degrees. So it's time to get all these carts out and signs. I need the carts. Where are the stanchions? I don't see the stanchions. I wonder if they're in the dock. I see two of them back there. So we open in like 20 minutes. We got four cars out here and I'm enjoying not having to bring the sign out. Almost forgot to print this sign and this one since the door is going to be closed today. The calm before the storm. We had all sorts of different stuff. I'm hoping this draws a lot of people in. People keep asking about them. So the one pallet that I held back, we're gonna get rid of here. Um, I mean, you saw all this stuff in the last video. First thing that I think is gonna go is either going to be over here. We have, <laughs> Mitch is hiding it, he wants it. We have a Stanley Cup. Um, I don't know what color it is. I didn't look it up or anything. I figured it'll draw people in, or these giant squishmallows. I'm thinking one of those. So the first sale was, as I predicted, two squishmallows. The first thing that I noticed that was grabbed was the Stanley Cup. Mitch was a little bummed out because he wanted to buy that. One thing I tell employees, we don't do any pre-sales for customers. Nobody can come in early or anything for employees. I typically say you can't buy anything until after the customers have all come in the first day or whatever day we're on. Exception being if we have a lot of something, then I don't care. Um, that way, people don't complain that, oh, the employees are getting all the good stuff. Customers have the first opportunity. Once those customers file in, then you can grab whatever you want. It feels pretty slow, but we've actually got a pretty good start. 3000 bucks in the first hour. I'm sitting here thinking I was going to be like, 1100 maybe um, I'm happy with that it seems really slow but people who are here are filling carts so the deals are here which makes me think the issue is probably either it's too cold out people don't want to come I mean it was 75 degrees two days ago and now it's 12 um, either that or it's uh, just the lack of advertising where I dropped the ball leading into the sale but if that's the case now that we're doing daily posts um, we should see it pick up tomorrow and the weekend. So it's quarter after 10. We are at 4,200. Um, we sold 11 of the shop lights. We actually sold more. Mitch didn't realize there was a special icon for it. So a couple of them rang up as general, uh, merchandise. Only ben, two, copy, only two of the hand warm or toe warmers, um, What's shoes, up? socks, and underwear. We sold one of the baby sterilizers, the mint back. tins. Uh, 12 of them, 60 bucks. I paid 25 bucks for that whole pallet. Only one case of Clorox, nine cases of the disinfecting wipes. Those are doing really well. Looks like a case of Fanta, only one of the Hershey's, six of the diffuser sets, the two spot cleaners, the sprayer. Apparently heart stuff is the way to go. People seem to like it. The Hoover carpet cleaner, three of the Milwaukee helmets. I don't remember what I paid for them, but... It wasn't a lot. Uh, so the deer stand, party speaker, uh, two accent tables, uh, cordless vac, uh, let's see, shark, another cordless vac, another cordless vac, another cordless vac, and it's two of these stick vacs. So we all tried the uh, Fanta mystery soda. What'd you think of the soda? Disgusting. Disgusting, really? Well, a good thing about it is it's spooky season soda, so. All right. They I, I would have filmed it, but I initially tried it with a customer. I got a couple of cups out and poured it in, and I said, we'll try it together. And I was thinking like a cherry or fruit punch flavor, but then I poured some more cups for the staff, and they were saying, Tim said that it's like if you go to McDonald's and mix all the cups together, or all the sodas together, which... I don't know if everybody did that when they were younger, but I know I did, and all of my friends did, and that is very accurate to how it tastes. I'm not really a soda person, so it's not my thing, but it wasn't bad. 
Ben says five out of 10. I'd agree with that statement, probably a five out of 10. All right, we're at the halfway point with a little over 6,000 in sales. We might actually hit 10 today. So here's a weird little thing. I did a cash drop, I don't know, 9, 9.30 this morning, and it was $650. Just pulling the bill, big bills out of the register, put it in the safe. I just did another one, and it was $650. And all I'm doing is grabbing, I leave- John, 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 John. I just pull all of the big bills and most of the 20s random amount. It's funny to me. All right, I'm gonna get some of this home improvement type stuff out. Got another charger for the collection. Add it to the pile. No battery though. I don't know if you saw on that picture, the, on that shot of the pallet, there was a drill impact and saw combo. I looked at the tag, it was missing the saw and the batteries. It's probably not expensive. So I just put the drill and impact out for $10 day, get 20 bucks for the pair. And I'm gonna hang on to the charger so I can test hyper tough stuff later. Tim has a Stanley cup of his own. So Tim's mad at me. He, uh, we've, I've got a bunch of my stuff here out of a storage unit that I was going to haul to Goodwill. And instead, uh, he ended up giving it to a customer. I don't know how it all worked out. He told her that she could have it all for free. I'm fine with that. She gave him a Morgan dollar, a silver coin. Um, and he thinks it's his. But I feel like if he's giving away my stuff, I should get it. Wouldn't you agree? He sees otherwise. Sold that foot spa, 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly what I paid. I'm pretty sure it was $5.99 at Goodwill. It's on another video from within the past couple of months. Well, we finished at 8,400-ish, something like that. The last four hours are pretty abysmal. Not a lot of people here, not a lot of sales. Uh, but the first half of the day was really good. I want to say we did like $7,000 by one o'clock. And then the last 1400 or so was the last four hours. Pretty swift change. Um, hopefully tomorrow's going to be good. I would be happy if it did you know, comparable numbers. Um, we're running out of stuff for $10 day. So I decided we're going to put out those Amazon pallets that came in the other day. Uh, that way I'd rather sell it now than the next sale. Kind of sucks because I would have liked to have that ready for the next sale, but we can get something else for the next sale. No big deal. Tomorrow is going to be another $10 day, and then Saturday will be the first price drop. So I feel like, especially because there's a little bit more awareness around it that we're doing it this time around, that people will be aware of it and show up. Now, here's something that annoys me a little bit. These slipped through. These shouldn't have been. Um, I saved half of them. It's partially Ben's fault, partially my fault, because I'm the one who put them on the tables. Ben's the one who put them in the $10 pallet. Um, these are like 40 bucks on eBay. Uh, we sold like, I don't know, four or five of them today. And these are the ones that I held back for tomorrow. And I decided for fun, let's look them up. Yeah, these aren't going out. We're putting these on eBay. Okay, I changed my mind. So apparently there's a handle attaches to these these are all missing it there's one listed with no handle and it's significantly cheaper it's like 25 bucks and there aren't a lot of these sold at the 45 dollar price point so instead i'm gonna put them out take less money and it'll be like a loss leader to get people in the door i think that's what i'm gonna do and i'll make a post tonight for these to hopefully have people lining up in the morning so I spread these around the tables. That way someone's not going to just grab them all. People, more people can grab them. Look at this thing. LED beauty mask. How creepy is that? Um, I found some cool stuff for eBay in there. I didn't bring that out. But I think now we're ready. I loaded up probably another 50 items onto the tables. So I'm going to empty out the cash drawers, get that in the safe, and then I'm out of here. 86.78 for the exact total for the day. So for dinner, I'm at hy V. They do a $10 steak dinner on Thursdays. I'm so, I, it smells so good. So I ran into, into Tim with his family there. So decided to eat with them. And now I'm heading home. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. It is Friday morning. 
There's still snow on the on the parking lot here. But it's 33 degrees out already, so I'm excited for that. So pretty slow start today. Uh, there were only like six people online when we opened, and I already wasn't very optimistic about today. So hopefully things pick up. So apparently Tim had to throw someone out. So I'm gonna get on the security feed here because I'm very curious. I want to watch. So it seems like it happened behind the gate. You can hear him out, out, out. So it's not on this camera. The other camera is going to be pretty far away. And he's escorting the guy out. Yeah, you can't really see back there on this angle. So basically what I'm being told, uh, Tim didn't bring it up to me. Uh, Mitch mentioned it. Um, Tim, the guy was asking Tim about how our how we price our special buy stuff and tim ended up pulling up an item on his phone to show the retail price and the guy like freaked out on him and said something like oh you're just gonna use your phone now instead of talking to me or something like that and you can't really hear the audio the cameras don't pick up sound that well it's mostly visual uh, but you can get a little bit when he's like at the door um i will give you a warning there's gonna be some foul language i'm not gonna go and edit all that out um but so Mitch also said the guy with just a regular car took up like three parking spaces. So I'm wondering if he just parked sideways in the lot. I don't know. Here's him getting thrown out. can't quite hear all of that the guy was saying do you have a boss a couple of times and when they were outside it was tough to tell who was saying what it sounded like tim said enjoy prison so maybe like the guy was threatening him and he said you know if you hit me enjoy prison or something like that. i have no idea i'm gonna go see what tim has to say about it i kind of give employees the benefit of the doubt if you feel that someone needs to get thrown out throw them out you don't need to talk to me um and from what i'm hearing this guy probably did need to get thrown out but that's an interesting one also oh, ben must have already grabbed him i found two boxes of uh magic cards on an amazon on one of those amazon pallets uh i don't know if i mentioned we're tearing through the amazon pallets to put them out we're low on merchandise for the early for ten dollar day one second all right so anyways we got two boxes of magic cards on one of the amazon pallets and Ben was super excited about them. He wanted to buy them. Um, I looked them up on eBay. They're going for about 60 bucks a box. I told him 35 bucks a box he can buy them for. He bought them. They looked like they were sealed. They were not sealed. Somebody very carefully opened the seal, was able to take the cards out. They opened all the packs, and they must have taken the good ones and returned all the junk ones um, and returned those to Amazon. And that's Amazon. They don't really check stuff like that. But we had a Walmart return that was a Dyson. And so here's the thing. Ben tested it. It worked. He put the tag on it. One of these tags that says it works. And we sold it today for 130 bucks. It's a $500 vacuum. It was missing most of the parts. The like crevice tool and the charger and you know this and that. Um, well, it got returned today. The guy said it wasn't a Dyson. It was kind of a... The guy said it wasn't a Dyson. Um, so we, we looked at it, it was a cheap Hoover that was very heavily used. So I don't know. And I showed Ben and he said that could have been what was in it. He doesn't remember. Um, so either the customer bought it from us, put their old vacuum in it and returned it. What I think is more likely the case is someone did that to Walmart and Ben just missed it when he was testing. Does Walmart not open boxes when they look at returns? I know I returned something at the Home Depot, I don't know, maybe a year ago. It was a $400 tool. I didn't end up needing it. I never opened the box. I made a point to not open the box. And when I returned it, they cut the, the factory seal and everything to verify that it was the right tool. Everything was in there. Doesn't every store do that? So we had two of those today. It's possible the guy was kind of a younger guy and he was dressed... 
in this business, you deal with enough people, you can kind of look at how someone carries themselves, how they dress and whatnot, and have a general idea about them. I wouldn't have been surprised if he was scamming us and stealing from us. But also, this was Ben's first sale where he was working in the warehouse actually testing this stuff. So I also wouldn't have been surprised if one slipped past him. So we refunded the guy. I didn't question it or anything. I just refunded him and apologized. And So that's t two of those that I think it was most likely an issue with Walmart. And Ben missed it when he was testing. So two of those where it's very bad return fraud hurts today, especially because sales are slow today. So basically Tim told the same story and he said um, that the guy was like doing this, like he was going to throw a punch and kept doing this at him. And um, oh, when he pulled up his phone, the guy said, F you, you know, something about guess your phone's more important. F you. And Tim, and he's like, I know I probably shouldn't have said this, but it caught me off guard. So I responded with F you actual words, but this is YouTube. Um, and it escalated from there. So, oh, and the guy said he'll be waiting at the end of the day for him. So Tim's thinking about maybe filing a police report just so there's a record of this happening in case he gets the crap kicked out of him as he leaves work today. I really wish I was out there to watch this. It would be so entertaining. Oh, and he also said he apologized to the customers that were in the area that saw this whole thing. And uh, he said there were a couple of guys at the front counter checking out that were enjoying it. So, a couple of things. Number one, police are on their way here. Tim's filing a report. Number two, we had... Um, it's kind of a thing just in case he gets the crap kicked out of him as he's leaving work. So, there's some sort of paper trail. Number two, this ice maker got returned and it looks like it works fine. Customer said it didn't work. Sure looks like it's working to me. We've got little ice nuggets. Look at this little ice. Look how small that is. Um, so we'll put that back out there. This isn't something that, you know, when someone tries to return something, usually we'll try and test it for them. A lot of times it's user error. Um, but this is something that it takes time. You have to have water source and everything. So they were saying that it kept saying that it was low on water, even when they filled it up with water. It's fun just watching it make the ice. Um, and that didn't happen when I was testing it, but you know, I let it run through and it's run through. It's working just fine. So this will be put back out there. We'll get another 125 bucks for it. That's what it was. And then the uh, what else? We've got a sound bar that's coming back. Customer said it doesn't work. I think what I'm going to do, this is the first time we've had multiple people testing things and things do get slipped up or there are certain things that we can't fully test. Like the ice maker, we just plug it in and make sure it powers on. Um, I'm only going this intent because the customer actually said it didn't work and returned it. Um, I think I'm going to put a line on those things so you can put your initials so you mark off who tested it. It hasn't been an issue yet, but just in case there's an issue where there's something really bad and like six different people say, I didn't test it. I feel like I'm, that would be proactive. I need to sell this before Christiana watches this video because she's going to want this thing. So it just sold. Just in time. Look, I found a Bears fan. You want to know how I know this is a Bears fan? There's no brain. <laughs> I just got something in the mail that I'm super excited about. So a viewer actually found this on Facebook Marketplace and sent me a link to the guy's Marketplace listing. And so I reached out to him and said, hey, can you ship this? And we agreed on a price and he shipped it out to me. Look at this. This would have been one of those exit signs that say food, next exit, and have all the food. Look how big this thing is compared to my hand. But what he didn't have in the pictures is it actually says where it was. US 31, exit 129. It went in 2015, which given how scratched up this thing is, I'm guessing the reason he has it had it was because there's probably a car accident that took out the sign. And that's because I can't imagine this would get that scratched up just sitting for a few years on a sign um but anyways so let's look this up on google maps right there so 
So this is actually in Indianapolis. I've probably driven past this exact sign many times before. Um, so 25th, September of 2015, there's no sign here at all. October of 2017, though, look at it right there. Um, so I'm guessing it said September of 2015. This must have been, wait, oh, that's 18. Hold on. Go back to 2015. I'm guessing it was the first one on this, one of the first ones on this sign. And then, uh, let's see, if we look at just a couple months ago, it's gone. Uh, let's see, when was it taken down? It was here in June, last June. That's probably it. I don't see any of the scratches, so maybe it wasn't that the sign was taken down. It was, you know, hit by a truck or something. They just took it down. But exit 129A, it sat right there. It's possible it was on the other side of the highway, too, coming in the other direction. Let's check for that. Yep, there's another one on this side. Um, and they don't have a lot of dates here. We got a few to pick from. And so we don't have the new one to see if it's still there because this is the one that had it there. Oh, McDonald's closed though. Um, no scratches or anything. It doesn't say which direction it was going. Just US 31 exit 129A. So it was one of those two. It is about 6.30 Saturday morning. Ready for $7 day. So I'm super excited for today because we got new company uniforms. At least me, Ben, and Mitch do. Ben had this idea like a month and a half ago, and I went with it and bought these. And I've been so excited for us to wear these for the whole time. It's Sasquatch with Tim's face on it. Tim has no idea that all of us are going to be wearing this shirt today. I'm really excited. Holy crap, I got 16 sales overnight, almost a thousand bucks. I think I'm going to work on that. I'm not going to film it, but oh, we need to keep ahead on eBay shipping this weekend. Ben, turn around. <laughs> I can't wait till Tim gets here. <laughs> wow, those are awesome. <laughs> How'd you get them made so fast? Okay, I don't get it. Three people showed up, and it was a family. One of them was a kid. This is the worst Saturday start we've ever had. What is it? Tell me what I'm doing wrong here. It's very stressful because we get good inventory in and people still don't show up. I'm really freaked out right now. I just saw something. Oh, there it is. Tasquatch. Definitely picking up now. Um, we started picking up a while ago. We've been averaging like 800 an hour, which really isn't great, but it's better than having you know, two adults and one child in the building. So I'm asking you guys for help or something here. I just actually posted on the Resale Rabbit Facebook and I'm about to on Instagram. Facebook is great at cropping photos here. I'm trying to win the People's Choice uh, Best of the Bay Award this year. It's a yearly award. I've never actually gone for it. I probably should have since Titletown Auction Company has been around since 2017. So that's seven years now in Wisconsin Liquidation Center. Fairly comparable. Um, so I'm asking, I'd like you guys to go in and help me with this. All you have to do is nominate Wisconsin Liquidation Center and or Titletown Auction Company. There aren't really like exact categories for it. I, I nominated myself. I nominated the auction for consignment store and antique dealer. And then I nominated Wisconsin Liquidation Center for thrift store. That's about the closest that I can find. Um, but it would be much appreciated. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can do this. You can get more information about it as well. Additionally, there's... Yes? He doesn't want to be on camera. I forgot where I was going with that. So link down below where you can do that. I also posted it on the Risa Rabbit Facebook and I'm about to on Instagram. So definitely appreciate it if you'd help me out with that. If you're really bored, it says you can nominate once a day. So yeah, only if you're really bored though. I'm not even going to do that once a day. Might do it a couple more times before the time is up though. Watch them work really hard. It's a dinosaur balloon. Ooh. Got another $88 in sales on eBay. It's pretty busy up there. 
So we just had a Vizio soundbar and subwoofer come back. So the guy said it wasn't working. I think it was user error. He said he hooked it up to his TV, couldn't get any sound. Um, and he said he tried resetting and it wouldn't get past like the flashing light that said it was trying to reset. We tested it out again, it worked fine, but we can only test it on Bluetooth. It connects to an optical connection and we don't have that connection on our testing TV. So we can't test the actual connection of the TV. It might be the cable, it might be the, the sound bar, it's the port on it that's damaged. I don't know. Um, it could just be user error because it wasn't flashing. We were able to pair it with a phone and it played fine. So I offered him a $20 discount and initially he's like, yeah, if that's easier, I can do that. And I said, well, it's not about what's easy. It's about what you want. We can do a full refund if you want. And he's like, uh, I guess I'll go with the full refund. So what I'm doing, I wasn't going to handwrite this. We'll have this on there. And then this note that just explains that. And I dropped it to 50 bucks. So it'll probably sell that at the very least. It's a nice Bluetooth, you know, hook it up to your phone stereo. It's a little annoying. He returned it without the box, without any of the packaging. If I really wanted to be stingy, I'd still have to have the packaging, otherwise we can't take a refund. But in this case, I mean, it didn't seem like he was trying to scam us. The unit was in brand new condition. Other than that, it had the books and everything. So I'm not going to fight that. I'll just take the return, resell it to the next person. Oh, I just caught someone trying to pull one over on us. So we had these canisters. There's a set of four. They nest into each other. And the lady just brought one up. And I said to her, Ben was wearing the register and I happened to be there. I said, you only wanted one of them? And she kind of just mumbled something and looked away from me. And when she looked back up a minute or so later, I said, you know, we've got three other matching ones too. Did you see those? I can grab them for you. And she's kind of, oh. And as Ben picked it up, he's like, oh, this is heavy. So I told him to look inside and they were all nested inside there together. I think she was trying to pull one over on us and get it all for seven. So I told her, just so you know, those are all separate. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. I think she put them all, nested them all together, hoping we would. And that's why she was kind of deflecting. And she was too embarrassed to say, put them back. So I'll get some broken appliances I'm gonna throw outside. If someone steals them, someone steals them. This one, the front door is smashed. This one's used, like it's all rusted. I'm assuming this is probably just a customer trade-in. And this one we sold and they said it shakes. So um, I'm just taking 25 bucks a piece. Get them out of here. I will be thrilled if they sell today. That way I don't need to bring them back inside when we close. It is super nice out here. Also, I have no idea why, but it smells like pancakes. All right, I got these out when you walk up. It is so nice out here right now. So I just added this so whoever tests an item can put their initials on it. Um, I think we're having too many quality control issues with special buy items. I just pulled out a mini fridge. Um, and one of them, it said on cosmetic condition, it said see below. That doesn't tell me if it's new, used, or what. They didn't put a note on there. The C below means it's gonna be a note. And then another one, it just said dented and I opened it up and the door was so smashed, it wouldn't even close all the way. So thankfully that didn't sell. I'm a little worried about the ones that did sell that I didn't open. But this way, um, there's accountability. Obviously we need to be testing things properly, inspecting them, labeling them properly. But there have been a couple of things where I don't think they're lying when they say, oh, I didn't test it. You know, I asked everybody and nobody seems to have tested the item, but it's filled out. Um, I think it's more of an issue of you test so many things, you forget what you did and what you didn't test. So this way it's at least on there and we know who tested it. What you wearing? Oh, I was trying to do the, sas the, the Sasquatch. You're walk. Sasquatch regardless. Squatch walk. That shirt is awesome. Ooh. Ah. So Ben says he found something for me. What you find? Oh, that is awesome. Is your screw on end to fit this? Uh, it's a, ooh, small. I don't know. That oh, might be too small. small. It didn't fit. Normally it would, but Christmas sweaters tend to run small. 
So we get this that I'm about to put in special buy. It's actually pretty nice containers. They're uh, duplicates of the Rubbermaid ones. It's, oh, they do nest together. So there's 10 containers total, but look at this email address on here, hotmail.com. That's an interesting choice. Here's an eBay sale that's kind of exciting. Let's see. I misread the box because I don't see it in there. Could have been in this one. Less exciting now. I can't find it. I was going to say it's exciting because I listed, we listed it four years ago. It's one of these sold for parts. And it's not this one. I knew I saw one here that was in a lot of three. So that's one that we're probably going to have to cancel. That's fun. That's the downside about inventory. See, if you have something on a shelf that sat for four years, one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to be missing or it won't even be listed anymore for some reason. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to cancel it. I looked through a whole bunch of boxes I couldn't find anywhere. It was over four years old. It's actually the third oldest item we had listed on eBay. Um, it sucks having a defect for canceling, but this is we do it a couple times a year, so... I currently have zero, so having one on there isn't going to hurt too much. So we got like half an hour, no, an hour left, just under an hour left. We're at a little over $8,000. So despite the slow start, it turned out to be a pretty good day. We're selling a lot of special buy stuff. I don't know what we're going to do for special buy next week. That, that rack is going to be pretty bare. I might take all this stuff on pallets and just put stacks of it on the Toys R Us shelves and then use the back row for regular items next week because we don't we sold a lot of special buy stuff uh the bottom one's special buy the middle one's regular items we sold almost half of our sales or almost a third of our sales were special buy um the top one is just uncategorized it was a custom skew that we had to put in uh or a custom total i might see if i can get more stuff for next week there's some liquidation pallet sellers in the area. They're expensive. Um, but it might be worth it just to buy an expensive pallet just so we have something out there. At the very least, it would draw people in. All right, so I found a place. Technically, they closed half an hour ago, and they're an hour from here, but they said they would stay late if I leave now. So I'm going to try and get a few pallets. Darn it. Past resale rabbit leaving me with no gas. Hate that guy. So I think they stood me up. I knocked on the front door and the back door, no answer. I just messaged their Facebook, that's who I've been communicating with, but there are no cars here. Like if someone was working here, their car would be here. I messaged their Facebook again and uh, waiting to see if I get a response, but it's not looking good. They, um, it's not like a storage facility, but there's a little like, it looks like a large storage unit, but instead of an overhead door on the front, it's got like a retail entrance. Um, I don't know. They told, they said, if you come now, he can stay late. It sounds like I was talking to the wife and the husband was the one that was here. She said, if you come now, he can stay late. I said, I'm about 40 minutes away. She says, that's fine. I got here like 38 minutes. I mean, maybe he ran to I don't know, pick something up at the gas station or something. So I'll wait for a few minutes, but it's looking like I drove all the way down here for nothing. I'm going to drive around and see if maybe they're in one of the storage units. It's a storage facility. Maybe they've got a couple of units too. No, there's not a single car on this property. There's a little pop-up camper. It's all closed up, so they're not in there. So uh, I, I, I don't know. I haven't gotten... Oh, here's a car that just pulled around. I don't, I don't think that's them. Um, I don't know if I should just wait a few minutes or what. I guess I'll wait a few minutes. It was kind of annoying. No one's, can I get around this? I don't think I can get around this. I cannot get around this. It says they just saw my message. So we'll see if I get a response. Again, it seems like I'm talking to the wife and the husband's the one who's here. So it could be she saw the message and she's calling her husband going, hey, he's there. 
All right, we got an answer. She said he went to go grab food. He'll be back in about a minute, so. At least I didn't drive all this way for nothing. Especially because I could be restocking tables right now. I left, wow, I just got major deja vu. I left the three of them there. They're uh, closing up. Well, they're probably already closed by now and resetting tables without me so I can get this and then I have to drive back. And I just have a trailer. These are tall pallets. So I'm gonna have to unstack to some degree, load them on the trailer, get back, unload it all start testing stuff, pricing stuff, getting in the system so I can get it on the shelves for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do all this and no one's gonna show up tomorrow. I can just see it. So they're not ideal. I got four of them. They're gonna have a lot of smaller stuff that probably would have been good for $10 a day, but I'm probably gonna lose money on these, but at least we have something and it'll draw customers in. So I have a problem. If you've ever met me in person, you're well aware of this problem. I can't stop talking to people. I enjoy chatting with people. So I've been here two hours and I still need to get this trailer. It is full. I hand stacked four pallets in there. I have to get it unloaded and then I have to get stuff priced and whatnot. It is, I'll show you when we get back, but I shouldn't have sat and chatted for two hours. All right, I'm back. It looks, tables look full. They look ugly, but they're full. Uh, let's see what the total sales were for the day. We'll be on here. Let's see. Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's the week. We want the day. 8617. It's a little dark, so you can't really see, but this is four pallets of stuff. I'm so tired. I want to go home. So I'm getting, there's a lot of this like best choice products. Uh, some of it's case packed. So let's see what this is. That's, that's very helpful. And in here is This will definitely be a special buy item. This thing's huge. I have no idea what retail is on it, but I'm sure we can get at least 20 bucks a piece for it. So it's 80 bucks for this box minimum. All right, we got another one here. There are a handful of these boxes. Some of them may just contain one unit. Some may have a bunch. And in it, is I guess we get three units. Let's find out what these are. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a toy, a dollhouse or something. I need two hands for this. Turns out there's six of them in here. Um, I don't know, maybe another 20 bucks a piece. It's I mean, it's not really a brand thing. I have no idea what these characters are supposed to be. But I feel like this is still desirable. Oh, is this... Holy cow, look at all these pieces. Interesting. So, I mean, there's probably at minimum 60 bucks in this box at 10 each. And then we get stuff like this. This will do... This is a great special buy item. We got a mailbox here. What was this? A heater. A lot of stuff for $10 a day. I haven't looked any of this on eBay. Looked up any of this on eBay. Maybe a couple things might be. Uh, this I know is gonna be eBay right here, but that's not the goal here. $10 a day for the next sale, eBay. That's not what we're trying to get here. We need special buy stuff. So this is a member's mark box, which is Sam's Club. And it looks to be case packed. Okay, this is a reused box. Gross. Yeah. Um, so just all sorts of different clothes. Ooh, we got Converse, Levi's, Gap. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. This is, what brand is this? That's just Members Mark, but there's some good brands in here. 
potentially some good online stuff. All right, we got another BCP. I'm not showing you everything. I'm unloading a bunch of stuff and just every so often showing you things. We're filling up here. We got like a shark vacuum here, Mr. Heater fireplace, rigid vac. That's all laundry soap. This is all special buy stuff. Some pots and pans, foot massagers, vacuums, etc. So back to this. Inside, there is six, 12. 12 of this item. And in it is, looks like another toy. Glow in the dark shooting game. Now that looks fun. That's a good, I think that's a good one. Oh, and I've got 12, so if I go 15 each, that's 180 bucks, I think, for this box. I got out and checked once. This is my second time getting out. Look how close I got. This handle is about twice the width of my hand from the wall. I'm intentionally parking super close. Since I've been in this building, three trailers have been stolen from this parking lot. That includes this exact trailer. This was stolen a couple years ago. Police were able to find it, recover it, but I don't want that to happen again. Normally, I park it inside to prevent that from happening. There's peanut butter M&Ms in here. I'm gonna have to have a couple. I bought this for Christiana. I've almost finished it. Sorry. Anyways, I have no room in the warehouse, so I'm parking it out here for during the sale. Um, and in order to keep it safe, I'm keeping it hooked up to the truck with a lock on it and parked right tight up against the building. It's not going to make it impossible to steal, but it'll make it very difficult. In fact, this past week is the first time I've had this thing parked outdoors, like overnight, since I got it back from the thieves. So I've been a little nervous about it. I don't think I'll have to, I mean, we've had, what, 10, 12 sales since then. And we've always been able to keep it stored inside. This one, we're just exceptionally full. And I would put it in here, but I've got this trailer. And then we need space for all the carts and everything. And without it being hooked up to the truck, I don't trust it on that incline by itself, even with good wheel chucks. So, we're all unloaded. This is all for $10 day of the next sale. This can go out now. I have not gone through anything in that bin or this one. Um, and pretty much everything else is special buy stuff. Other than the box here that I'm gonna look up on eBay, the brand name clothes. I found another jacket here and a whole bunch of these Lucky Brand hat and scarf sets. Um, if they're not worth anything on eBay, I didn't even look them up. We'll sit on them until next Christmas and put them in the sale, $10 a day. I think they'll draw in a lot of people. But it's like eight o'clock. I got none of it priced, none of it in the system, none of it tested, none of it on the table shelves. I'm going home. I'm gonna get something to eat, go home, and I think I'm gonna go straight to bed because I gotta get up early to get the stuff tested, priced, put in the system. Most of this is brand new condition, so I think I'm just gonna work on the brand new stuff in the morning. That way I don't need to test it. Stuff like this shelf, or I got a bunch of these, or these toys that I open up, they're all new. So I'll just do those. It'll fill out the shelves, and then while we're open tomorrow, myself or someone else can sit and test all the other stuff. I do need to empty out the registers though, and then I can go home. It's about 6.30 a.m. I just got here, about an hour later than I was hoping for. Let's get some stuff in the special buy area because it's looking pretty bare. Uh, we don't have a lot here. This area is I mean, it's so empty over here. Um, so get some stuff loaded up in here. I did bring this up here um, last night when I was unloading the trailer just because it's so heavy, but I still need to price it. I haven't priced them yet, but now it looks a lot better. Um, I got pans, a table. This thing's factory sealed, so that'll be easy. A lamp, massager, some toys, more toys, uh, the toaster oven, more pans. I think that'll work for now. 
So I got the price tags made. I'm adding it to the system. I actually created a separate category for this stuff so I can track at least the specialized stuff from this load. Look at that, 470 on eBay. Basically overnight, we were shipping all day yesterday. So I'm back here to dig these extra two, this extra box of lights out, and I just realized we have two. I kind of spoiled it though for you. The last of the Fanta just sold. So when I got the Fanta, one of the cases was open and missing one or two bottles. Um, so I decided to just wrap that one and put up five bucks is still a good deal on it. So we haven't sold the last one yet. This is stupid. So I've got an ink cartridge listed and they gave me a Vero because we ship to the European economic area. It says I can relist it. I just can't ship it to, I need to change it so it doesn't ship to the European economic area. How am I supposed to know that I can't sell ink cartridges, or at least this specific one, because I've got a bunch of other ink. It's really dumb. And now to relist it, I can't just go and click relist because they, when they remove the listing, it's gone. So I lose all of my sales history on it because it was, it sat on there, you know, 45 sold or something like that. It instills trust in the buyer. It makes the listing look better. Uh, I lose that and I lose the, um, you know, it takes time to now have to take new pictures and everything. I lose all that. It's really dumb. They could just send me a warning and say, hey, you can't sell this in Europe. And I'll say, okay, let me switch it to US only. I stand corrected. They changed it. So it's just hidden until I fix it. That's, that's new. They didn't notice how they only went after the single one, not the multiple. I'll, I'll fix that one too. So it's US only, but that is awesome because they didn't always do that. Never mind. So I had to end the listing. It wouldn't let me edit. It would let me edit everything except the shipping policy, which is the thing that had an issue. And so I ended the listing thinking I could relist it. It won't let me relist it either. It was nice having this where it says 16 sold. That's that's gone. going to be gone now. I'm going to have to take new pictures. I guess, can I save these? Yeah, I can save these pictures and then just relist it. By the way, while I'm in eBay, another 359 came through today so far. And it's one o'clock, a little over the halfway point of the day, and we broke five thousand uh, dollars. Let's see, we want item sales. Let's see what items have sold. Oh, bag of items. We sold four bags of items. We didn't actually sell them. The guy prepaid. Uh, he said he wanted to prepay. He volunteers at a nursing home. Wanted to prepay for some for. Um, basically, he wanted to buy four bags of items for someone that he knows at the nursing home, but he's not gonna be in town on Sunday. So he wants to prepay. So I said, yeah, just prepay, give her the receipt, have her come in and we'll count them. Uh, let's see, GM, 3,500, 58 shop lights sold for 348 bucks. Only eight of the toe warmers. These did really well yesterday, not so much today. 13 of the gloves, 11 apparel, two of the pepper spray, 12 shoes, 22 socks and underwear. We sold one of the dollhouses. We sold a foot massage, uh, the nonstick cookware set for 60, accent table, the other cookware set, a uh, monitor, a bamboo pillow. We actually sold two of these, but Mitch didn't know that it was special buy, so I ended up going for six, the other one. A uh, case of Kohl's, those aren't doing so well. Five pet boxes of the mint tins, three cases of Clorox, 15 cases of wipes, those are doing well. Uh, nine cases of Fanta, that's it for that. Five of Hershey's. 41 of the diffusers, those are flying out the door. Chainsaw, the hard hat thing, and a monitor. So the middle one, special, is the ones that I got yesterday. Special buy is the other special buy stuff. So only 179 uh, from the yesterday stuff. I put I put some of the items out on the table, like that laundry soap. There was three or four boxes of the Purex. All of those sold. I mean, six bucks is a heck of a deal on that. Um, and then there's other stuff that I'm sure probably sold that I put out some loose curtains and stuff I know I saw go. We're open for three more hours. If we get 2,800 in sales, we'll break 30 for the first week. Which is crazy because we used to do like 40 or 45 in the first week. Um, I guess that was on the high end, but still.
Well, actually, I forgot about the returns, so like 3300 in the next three hours. Still doable. And while going over all that, got a $40 sale on eBay. So we've got two ladies out there who have four heaping carts, and one of them, she said it's her first time here, she says, you guys are a bad influence on me. This isn't good. I'm buying too much. But every time I'd bring a cart out, she starts pulling stuff off of it. I like when people come here the first time and have a great experience. All right, it's Monday morning. Monday, like 11 a.m. I slept in today. We did nothing to clean and organize this. My thought process is I want to get clothes up for Wednesday when we open. I'm thinking about taking down these tables and I could do at least one, maybe two runs of clothes racks here and get a lot of clothes out. But that means all of this will need to get condensed to here. Another thought process is removing this and putting Z racks along the wall. But the bedding is doing so well, I would like to keep this up for now. So I think that's the plan. This, I'd kind of like to take down and put all this stuff on tables. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that or not. I need to update this sign. I decided I'm, these are doing so well at $5 each, I'm gonna leave them as a special buy item at five. Undecided on these though. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. This place is trash. It's gonna take some work to clean this up and organize it. But I have faith that I can do this. I'm here by myself today. So we'll make this look nice. And I got another 540 since we last shipped yesterday afternoon too. I gotta take care of. So we've got some progress done. These tables are almost empty, at least the tops. Um, we organized this a lot better. So it's not just random, all boxes of stuff. Um, we got some home improvement stuff here. Uh, these were all in poly bags, but they're kind of translucent. So I've been taking them out so you can see them better. Uh, just all sorts of different stuff. We got some spaces. So there's a little bit of organization in here. We're, I'm pulling some stuff. Some stuff, we just have too much of it. Some stuff I just don't think is worth putting out. It may have been worth it when we just need table filler, but like this box of stuff I'm pulling, I'm sure there's gonna be some more. Oh, where did I just set those? Over here, these Adams things, I've got like a million of them. Um, I thought it was a home improvement item. They're actually for, they basically attach to bricks without actually having to drill in. You can hang Christmas lights on them. So I'm pulling those to save for next Christmas. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all of this on those two runs of tables, but I'm trying my best here and we'll see what we can do. Oh, also a few things that I'm pulling that I think will do better in the auction, but this thing, it's like a sound machine for when you're sleeping, 35 bucks on eBay. So I'd rather get that than $5 here. Also a little organizing, these winter hats were all over the place, so I've been debagging those and putting them in here. The NFL ones I'm leaving in the bags, but these other ones I'm taking out of the bags, so those are all gonna get boxed together. Same with baseball caps, taking them out of the bags and boxing them together. So that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Um, words, thoughts. I'm trying to be good at keeping the uploads going at a reasonable time, so I'm gonna finish this video here I'm heading home, um, finish this video here so I can get it edited and uploaded before the second half of the sale. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out part three coming up soon-ish. And uh, that's where I'll show you how it all looks when we're done. Bye.